pelvis, scratched up, long wide claw marks. Lair, but definitely not a drowner's. Bruises on his neck, crushed larynx, strangled. Almost untouched, hidden for later. Drowners just don't do that. Bits of boats, torn sails, lines. Sailing decor, you could call it. That stench, the marks on the bodies. This must be a water hag's lair. Got a keen sense of smell. She won't come back while I'm here. Unless... She coexists with drowners. Maybe I could make an extract from their glands, cover up my scent.
Job's done. Here's the proof. Now, why would I want to see? What the devil's that? Water hag, an old clever one. She was the danger. Seen a lot of ugly critters in my life. Moorays, lampreys, blobfish, but never nothing like this. Your award. Well earned, Witcher. Well earned. Think I deserve more. Water hags significantly more dangerous than drowners. Not denying it, but my coin pouch ain't exactly bottomless. Neither is the sea. Plenty more filth ready to crawl up from its bottom. Might need my services again. And I won't stick my neck out for those who skimp on the reward. Extorting protection coin, eh? Take it. Take all I got. And choke on it, you bugger. What is it? You're clearly a fighting man with many journeys neath your belt. I'm in need of your help. You see, it's me Sonny. I'm worried. Left home a fortnight back and hasn't returned. Will you see what's become of him? Would you mind? Where should I look for your son? East of here. Midst the ruins of the fortress. He went there with some rogues from Pharaoh. Met him at the tavern. They filled his head with nonsense about some treasure. I said, Sonny, Pharaoh folk are liars to a man. You shouldn't fraternize with them. But he knew better. How'll I recognize him? All I know is he doesn't listen to his father. Pretty typical for his age. His name's Olve, a cheerful lad, a bit of a lisp, nothing special about his looks, except last I saw him he was wearing a yellow tunic. Lovely, none other like it in the village. Got it from me a year back, on his birthday. That ought to do it. I'll look around. No promises, though. My dad's off fighting the black ones. Giddy up.
see the I reason. I hold Siri dear too. You know this damn well. But the mask of Orberus is no trifle. Yes. Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good. May all Skellige know Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief. Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the Isles with us. Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Orboros created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his patrol, Orboros made the mask which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. So, no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually know if it works, how it works? Of course I do. The myths tell me. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. Theft or no theft, Kroch gave us free reign. First off, this might indeed be his isle. But we, the druids, watch that no alien magic taste hold here. Secondly, after the cataclysm occurred, Kroch turned to us for help and trusted this site to our care. Third! What? What was that? No. Jennifer's used the mask. Silver. What was that? Unicorns. Damn it, Yen. I saw the foglets. I meant how they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive, somehow. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Well, let's go. This way. Already found the first spot.
on the mask. Any instructions? Keep it on until we've seen everything. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved. Like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come. Let's find the next spot. Damn, you're ugly. Magic explosion of some sort, so powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. The place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone who can miss it had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking, but go ahead. Siri can take care of this. Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Held the other with powerful magic, then fled through a cork. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Nowhere? Hmm. His trace pass leads to Velen as well, but the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ceres. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz in Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us! We'll see what Krach has to say about this! Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now! But who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? We think a powerful curse was cast here. Mm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet, but we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded, but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we found something interesting. 
Just need to examine one more thing. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you? I can. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Siri's friend must have. What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. It is true, she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Durham, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the Hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Ard Skelly. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women. And an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Wait, can't we go together? Right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Quite a few years since I was last on Hindisfjall. But if I remember correctly, Lofton should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the Wild Hunt. Ah! 